So now let's discuss the VOR portion of the VOMS utilizing motion guidance. So our vestibular ocular reflex has the horizontal plane test as well as the vertical plane test inside of the VOMS. To perform the VOMS with the motion guidance system, we're gonna go through our calibration of having the patient sit upright with the laser off, have them look directly at the center target, hold on to the mount, turn the laser on, and put the laser into the center of the target. Okay, that's your starting position. I'm gonna instruct the patient to keep their gaze fixed at the center target while they're moving their head back and forth at a no-no pattern of 180 beats per minute. This is where you'll need your metronome. Uh, part of my instruction will be telling the patient to change directions every time they hear a beat and to try to keep up with the beats per minute. We do this for 10 seconds and we record our headache, dizziness, nausea, and vertigo, fogginess symptoms. Okay? For this test on the motion guidance device, you only need to move 20 degrees off of center and from three feet away, that puts us at one foot or 12 inches from the center of the target. So I've put small pieces of tape on the horizontal axis as well as the vertical axis to uh, let me recognize where that one foot or 20 degree arc is. Okay. Now most of you will be familiar with the slight downward gaze with the VOR, so I'm gonna have the patient actually uh, tilt their head down to look at the six, okay? And we're gonna be doing the VOR in that plane. So now I bring the laser back up. I'm gonna have them look directly at the six and shake their head back and forth at a no-no pattern and I'm going to set the metronome at 180 beats per minute. Okay. So you don't need to start right away. You can wait for the beat and then shake your head in the no-no pattern for, and I'll time you for 10 seconds. So we can utilize a hand timer for this. My metronome app has a second clock on it and we'll utilize that. Okay. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and shake your head no back and forth. Head no. And stop. Okay. And shake your head. We can give the patient a full minute to recover and record their fogginess, dizziness, headache, and nausea. This is how you perform and see a good test. The motion guidance device value comes from a patient trying to change the test unconsciously or consciously to get around having their symptoms because they know that this particular test will give them one of those symptoms I mentioned before. So we'll see that show up in a representation on the laser. So in this case, if they are looking down toward the six and that's where their gaze fixation is, but they know that they have a vestibular hypofunction or something that could cause their symptoms by looking toward the left with their head, then they might avoid this. So the pattern might show up like this during your testing. They're uh, already set up, but when they start going back and forth with the beats per minute, they do not come all the way to the left with the laser, but they come all the way to the right and then maybe just back to past center or just to center as they're shaking their head. So let's see what that would look like. If I open up my metronome app again. Okay. And they start to go, but they dominate toward the right side as they start to perform the VOR. So he's going at the appropriate beats per minute but he never comes fully back to the left side and stop. This is gonna be critical information for you as a practitioner to ensure that they're going to, through full ranges of motion equally 
and bilaterally during the VOR. This might also give you information about titubation or irregular movements in the, the plane of the VOR as they are performing this. That might lead you to different styles of treatment or diagnosis. We can use the same setup for the vertical saccade that will just be performed up and down within the 20 degrees of motion or one foot from the center of the target, looking for incongruencies, symmetries, or possible insight into something that might not be happening appropriate during the test, again suggesting an element of a false negative if they don't have symptoms.